It's one of the habits of very learned people is that when they don't know anything, they just don't mention it. Uh, Coleridge made a very handy observation a hundred and some years ago. He said, always start with the other man's ignorance. You can quickly then acquire his knowledge. In dealing with any problem, any situation, start with the other man's ignorance, not with what he knows. Because what he knows would take you just as long to acquire as he, it took him. So you start with what he doesn't know. Now, for example, this matter of the invisible environment. The authors of this very learned passage do not know that every technology creates a new environment that is invisible to the users thereof. Once you know that, and this is a very recent book and by the most learned man in this field, once you know their ignorance, you can quickly acquire their knowledge. The new environment, or carrying, for example, this obviously creates a new environment. So does speech. Once you can speak and use signs that are not representational of anything present, but of things long past or things far away, then you have command over time and space that is fantastic. Speech as communication gives you a huge time, space, power. We call it tradition. Collective memory. The subconscious made up of speech, memories from many human pasts, many tribal pasts. So the extensions of man, in this sense, create environments of many, many dimensions, all of which tend to be concealed from us. In the electric age, however, we have access to all pasts and all times and all speeches and all languages at such speed that the pattern of them becomes very plain and simple. The reason that the electric age has characteristics unknown to any previous human age is this speed of access to all previous knowledge and all previous human experience. The effects of such speed on human consciousness or on the conduct of human life in the present and the future is almost beyond imagination. It, in other words, the speed itself creates a new environment that we are completely unaware of. The NASA teams are completely unaware of the new electric environments created by speed. They still think they're dealing with space, outer space, 200 years out of date. Our most advanced scientists are 200 years out of phase and don't know it. There's nothing new about this. It's always that sort of gap in human awareness has always existed. But in our time, it becomes possible to close these gaps if we wish. Now, I've just, I opened a book the other day that I've known as a classic for many years, The Virginian by Owen Wister, the first of the Westerns, on which all Western books and films have been based ever since. First page deals with the railway. The railway created the Wild West, created the frontier, where people from all sorts of civilizations could suddenly appear in the midst of nowhere. When you appear in a new environment, you are nobody. How do you establish an identity in a new environment like the Wild West? How do you let people know who you are when there isn't any neighborhood and there isn't any society and there isn't anybody who knows anybody? Well, you know how they do it. Violence, tough, toughness, accuracy, speed, power, strength. And this is what happens in any slum. 
In a slum, you're like, let's just like the Wild West. Nobody has any identity. There is no neighborhood, just misery. How do you establish an identity in a slum? Worth looking into. In the problem in our world today, the new environment of speed up, of instantaneous speed up, creates problems for every one of us. And I suggest as a project for all of you that you begin to make an inventory, careful observations of your younger brothers and sisters, 13 and under, to notice the change in life patterns, <coughs> lifestyles, from your own. If you have brothers and sisters who are 13 or younger, you will quickly discover that they do not use your way of looking at the world. They do not accept your assumptions about daily life or education. And you're in a position to do top-level, first-hand research that has never been done in the world today in your own homes. One of the things that immediately happens in an instantaneous environment of information is that the nobody can have a goal anymore. It's impossible to have a goal when you have all times and all spaces simultaneously present. You cannot have an objective in life anymore. You cannot have a fixed position because you're everywhere at once, in all ages, in all times, at once. How can you have a point of view? Impossible. That's why you can't have an upside down in modern art. There's no point of view. A point of view depends upon a fixed position on situations remaining absolutely steady for long periods of time, like the Victorian age. However, in the Victorian age, they were having a lot of technological revolutions, such as the railway and the steamship. And the, steam, the railway broke up human homes and happiness at a ferocious rate. Anybody could walk a mile or a half a mile to a station, buy a ticket, and never be seen again. <laughs> 